I was worried I hit that a little too early, but no, I got it. And here we have an elevator, and it's not a Final Fight game if you don't do something on some kind of raised platform or elevator. Gotta fight our way onto it first, though. First with the regular dudes, but there's more serious stuff coming. Yep, I was worried I was gonna get the third attack out in time to hit him. By the time I thought about it, though, it was too late. I'm gonna get a superhero, we're certainly gonna use it on Arby. There are other prime targets coming, but we might actually still build another one before we get on this elevator. We'll see. I love the back suplex. It's so quick. And because he says weird words, but mostly because it's so quick. Oh, almost got in trouble there. Yeah, okay, a little bit of slowdown here. For some reason, just when they were at that range on screen, and it went away. Oh, chest bump. No, Andor, you get that once. If we did build another super, will it kill? Yes, it will. Devastating. Now, I don't know how elevators work where you're from, but you don't just get to drop in through the ceiling of them anytime I've ridden one. And to be honest, I don't know if I'd want that to be a feature anyways. Anyways, this can be very annoying, especially for Hagger. They roll all over the place, they hit you from behind, they dodge when you attack. Our best bet is just to keep grabbing them and chucking them, because it'll help knock down the other ones, it'll help keep them in the same area. Because even the punch combos don't work great, they do have the option of rolling through. Oh my god, he just dropped right into my waiting arms. Oh, it felt so good. Yep. Unfortunately. So we're doing okay. Sometimes you can take even worse damage than this, to be honest. Just roll through. He was up in the air somehow. There he is again up in the air. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> He's levitating and or a ghost. And we actually worked out nicely there. We got almost a super bar. Well, we didn't really want to use it on any of them. We used one. And we didn't want to have it trigger before the scene, otherwise it'd be counting down right now. Now, this is the final hallway before the final boss. It's a long room with a lot of tough enemies. And some other surprises coming. I was kind of hoping to push forward enough that my one of these surprises wasn't going to have a chance to work, but it didn't happen. It's okay. I am going to keep trying to throw enemies forward, though, because of what's coming, and you'll see soon enough. I think it's after the screen pushes next time. I just like lateral pressing these women. I don't know why. It's just funny to me. You, over there. You, back suplex. You, over there. You, have a ton of health. The hell is that? She's so buff. Come here, I want to use one. There we go. On somebody with a lot of health, please. Look at the damage the last hit of that does. Oh. Oh, she stabbed me with a knife. Now, I have to be careful not to die an ignoble death up here. If, assuming I don't die to a May here, we'll see. Alright, get in the middle of the screen. Oh, that got a little dicey there. <laughs> I went for a grab and missed it. She walked behind me. She could have had a chance to hit me. Now, as I come forward here, these guys are back for no apparent reason. Get away, get away, get away. There it is. Oh, I didn't drop any health. Yeah, barrels just come from the sky sometimes. It's fine. The points are appreciated. It's just not really what I'm... Oh, did not get blurry that time. Not really what I was looking for. I was hoping for some... What the... I hope I was invisible to you. On my screen, I could not see myself. Uh, I was hoping for any kind of health item there. I didn't get it, but that's okay. We got four lives. That might be enough to win without continuing. And if not, then... The guy's going to have a very, very small role in the story of Final Fight 3. <laughs> That's an interesting little combo idea. 
if you don't happen to catch a lot of the clothesline, you can actually still turn it into a combo while they're in hit stun. That hit at least twice to knock them down, so if you only catch the tip and you're smart enough and quick enough to react, you can turn it into a combo still. It's fun. Little things can help in this game, and again, these touches weren't in the earlier game, so it's kind of neat. Gives you a lot more flexibility in how you build combos and take out enemies, and it helps keep the combat feeling fresh. Because while I like the first final fight, you basically have punch, 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 jump kick, or throw. I just knew to axe handle. I had a feeling, oh, nothing I can do about that. Classic final fight, quarter eating. You get hit by an attack you can do nothing about. And you're like, but I don't, I don't want to. And the game's like, I don't care. And you're like, but I care. <laughs> and we're going for the ride. Huh. So I guess even the one hit does it. It has to be the very tip then. Because I only hit those guys once, but they still fell down. So it must have to be the very edge of the clothesline. Interesting. Don't know that I paid that much attention to it before. You! Hey, french fries! Does the body good? Look at Billy throwing those right jabs. Oof. Oh, that's a left jab. You! Come here! You have the most health. Oh, I didn't get the input. Oh, no. Quick, kill somebody. We need a fresh enemy in here. You! I would have rather done this on any of the other two enemies, but that's okay. Sometimes you just gotta show G who's boss. Nice. Caught him on the back dash. Coming through to be invincible. Joe rolled through, though. He's too smart for me. Oh! <laughs> Sucker. Sure! Just got a super, why not? No, this is now the third and fourth Andors that we're fighting in this room. Is that kill? Good. We want him running around while I finish off this Andor. Gabriel. I'm just gonna back suplex him to death. Oh, I missed my input. Got in front of him. Look at that damage. Alright, so we edge forward a little bit. And then we just happen to know to come over here for some reason. Helicopter just mocking us. We're like, yeah, I'll fall for it. Let's go. And so we go up onto the roof. Here comes this M. Bison wannabe. Slash Relento wannabe. <laughs> Relento also in this series, so it's surprising. He just ripped his shirt off. We will probably die here, but we'll do our best. His name is Black. I'm assuming it's like Colonel Black or something. <laughs> and like some other Final Fight bosses, but especially Final Bosses, he gets harder as we go. Right now he doesn't do a whole lot, he just dances around, he throws some knives, he'll hit me with that stick if he gets the chance. And that attack, we'll be seeing a lot more of that attack later. He's invincible while he does it. It's kind of like our Lariat, but miles better. <laughs> And he has a Hadouken kind of move. Sort of like Guy, but he uses both hands. Ah. Hey, you have a spinning power driver while I'm invisible. I don't know if that gets picked up on the recording. That's the second time now where I've grabbed somebody where I couldn't see myself. And the nice thing is we can sort of bait him into using that move by standing close to him. Lariat through it ourselves and then punish him. It still gets tougher later because he gets meaner. Also, I'm gonna have a hard time getting the super off, but we're gonna try. Damn. Right as I got him, too. 
switching him to the back, of course, was the down part of the super input, but I was about a half second too late. Now, we have the reach to punch him there. If we're not careful with some of the other characters, he gets to hit us for free while we swing at him because he hits longer than they do. Hagrid does not have that problem, but I think everyone else does. Maybe not Dean, but certainly Guy and Lucia. Try and punch him. Miss. <laughs> Get half damage for the trouble. There he's at. His, you can see his health bar, so he's going to spin over to this part of the screen because look behind him. Danger, 13,200 volts, and like in Final Fight 2, where we did exploit the same problem, he really wants very badly to die so that he flies to the right. He really, really wants that. And I was just about to say, if I'm not careful with this grab, he's going to do it again in between. I actually don't think I can grab him at this point. I think I had to punch him. Look at this inept fight. I, okay, I was going to say, I don't know if he actually does anything to stop this. But he did. I think it is possible to punch him to the left, but tough because of that spinning attack. Actually, you can see in there I'm punching him, he's sliding backwards. Yep, there we go. <laughs> we did it. Look, Final Fight doesn't care about physics, okay? It cares about two things, final and fight. I don't know why things are exploding. It's not clear. And even on the higher difficulties where you get more story in the ending, it's not clear. <laughs> Was the helicopter set to self-destruct? How did we get off the roof? Did the power converter blow because we knocked the guy into it? Because that doesn't really make much sense. And why would the whole building blow up because of it? Not clear. <laughs> Look, they're trying to give Dean a story. Kicked ass, you're welcome here. You can stay in my ponytail's house anytime. So if we had played it on the other difficulty level, we would have had a little bit more of a scene there, but uh, we'll survive without it. That does it for our playthrough of Final Fight 3. I do so love this game, except for its one critical flaw. And unfortunately, I don't think anybody's tried to fix with like an updated ROM or anything like that. To my knowledge, you just have to deal with it. That sucks. In case you were wondering about our regular weekly stuff, Steins Gate, of course, has been MIA for a while. We've been recording some videos with that new game capture software, the HD60, and all of them have some kind of audio desync issue. The ones that didn't crash and get lost completely. We lost two whole games of NBA 2K16 because of it. So I'm having to send it back and just reorder a new version of the one we used for two years before that that broke. And as a result, I didn't trust recording two hours of Steins Gate because I didn't want to lose all of it. So as soon as I get that this week, hopefully Steins Gate will be back next week. And that's why Final Fight 3 was here. Thank you for watching.